made to join new right at the beginning of the game beautiful looking Clifford Cup in presence Like I said before, Army rejuvenated, learned from their mistakes. By far the better side in the knockout stage. Now in position, nicely formed ball driving through. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Navy, early stages, early exchanges. Army earning a penalty, the first of the game. Absolute uh, alert call from the army is from the start, attacking a good line break that was earlier supported, but went into um, then a chip, and Navy recovered very well, very well, very brilliantly recovered, got in touch, but army once again uh, had the line out and they drove in beautifully to win a penalty, and now it's about a few meters away from uh, the second semi-final of the Nippon Paint uh, Clifford Cup tournament 2023. If you remember even. During the game against Air Force, we said Army had it. It's just a case of brushing things up and get the right formula. Looks like much needed changes, adjustments have been done and Army doing really well. However, the throw wasn't straight. So it will be a chance for sailors to get out of the jail. Just about four minutes up. A well, crucial mistake by the Army. Uh, there was no contest from the Navy team, and still they had a not the throw was not in straight, called by the referee, and Navy will have the put in to have the loose head, and uh, for the first time of the game. When these two teams met each other at Valisera, 13th Gen, it was Navy had the better of 41 point, 41 points to 30 victors, but Army. In the knockouts, different beast altogether. Maduranga with the distribution and Samuel Maduranga, ever reliable boot, finds a touch. Excellent clearance kick. Sudaraka Dikubura, explosive speed. I think Navy should be handling him with care. Is pretty much C4 explosives. Ref Ishanka Abekon handed over the responsibilities of officiating this game. Ambi once again, this time the throw was straight but heavy in with position. Nicely presented ball, skipper Harsha Maduranga intercepted and kicked it. Luckily, Samuel Maduanta is there. Early calls for Raji Baji, it doesn't matter, this is a game of rugby. As, lo as long as they keep in clean, and uh, we'll see a crucial army once again losing the line out. Uh, this time for a knock on. You can't afford to lose these crucial restarters, and uh, that will have an impact on the game. You're, you are happy to have the throw in, dictate your numbers, dictate the number you are throwing in, but then you lose position and, and you get the low set to the uh, opponents. It's a crucial mistake. I thought again, have locks. Army kept their error count down. But today, earlier on, just about six minutes in, a few tiny mistakes, but there comes the handling errors throughout the league as well as the knockouts, handling error count, staggering SW. I'm sure they would have practiced that move many, many times. And then when you put it into practice in the real game, uh, nervy hands or maybe a lack of concentration, but nevertheless, you can't afford at this level uh, in a second semi-final and coming into a final of the uh, Nippon Paint Clifford Cup 2023. And uh, it's crucial that you've got to keep ball in hand, recycle and make your options count. 
that's about it patience intelligence everything in one game rugby that's why so much of glamour attached to it now army just about to feed in scrum half mohammed rifan live wire against havelocks had a good game range finder was good touching the fingertips of every defender Army with a kick, quick throw and it seems ref is all right with it now the speedster sudaraka dikumura coming inside presented a quality ball number 14 acres of room in front but a fabulous tackle to bring him down almost almost not quite for army brilliant passage of play absolutely fantastic i'm wondering whether uh, the young uh, first time duke kimura whatever is he doing he was traveling like a postman trying from one corner to the other corner on a on a, on a parallel you can see the replay there he goes from one end to the other and but parallel but look at that offload completely good timing it's just that a desperate tackle a good tackle i would say save the day save the five points save the seven points uh, for the navy army made their intentions clear the navy just managed to hold on to the position no no, no, no don't do that this will Back. surely be utilized for the clearance but before that they can play Roll one away. more pace no hands to have a better direction for their kickers in the process, no, roll away. army not rolling, not away. rolling away. Give away position Mark. that easily. No Just way. about 10 minutes in. Still army. Enterprising, but not clinical. Yeah, especially at a situation like that, in my view, my advice is that you've got to be a disciplined uh, contest to the ball there because of the fact that you see now you give a penalty you get you get the cushion of 40 meters 30 meters down the line without any effort and you have the throw into the line out instead of that if you let you contest in a proper manner and then you give the ball to them to clear the ground you have the throwing that's important and you might be in their half still that's exactly that's exactly what the teams are striving for but army for some reason not taking advantage I thought that was a brilliant passage of play from Sudara Buddha. Just a while ago, I mentioned he's C4 explosive. So, Navy better handle him with care. Back. Now, driving forward. Maduranga presented the quality ball. Knights. Now, release! Clear release! Inside pass. Forwards. Getting their work rate up. Play on. Army being well disciplined throughout. The what knockout stage. White. White. Ball went into touch, but before that. What do you want? Scrum? Yes. Looks like the knock on came. Backwards. Uh, definitely, my hats off to the three coaches. Uh, Army is Ronnie Ibrahim and uh, Navy is Salia Kumara and Police Ronnie Ibrahim, oh, the two brothers. They have made beautiful teams out of these three sides. Yesterday, the police up, were very, I won't say unlucky. They should have kept the, with 11 points lead and, uh, and the CNFC playing with uh, uh, two players or three players minus. They should have known how to Five. keep the lead on. But hats off to a uh, champion team like Set. coming back to clinch the seat Steady. in the match. But Say. these two teams are playing some super exhibition rugby. Both the teams prepare to work the ball out okay. wide. Using their speedsters, as we said, <laughs> didn't quite stick. Deliberate knock on says referee Shankar Abekon. First opportunity for points, Navy. First time they enter Army's territory and in with the chance of hitting in front. A good call by the referee. Yeah, certainly, that was a bit of a negative play rather than trying to go for the interception a good call Time surprisingly off. navy has called for a scrummage not in my books i would have still gone for the three points open the scoring so that you know your three points up and the other side know they're minus three 
though some food for thoughts as always whenever SW is in presence 12 minutes up still even Steven both the teams searching for points it doesn't matter how adventurous you've been you need to show for up, boys. it time on I honestly expected both right, the teams to come out all guns blazing and uh, make this game a uh, high scoring out. one like the one they had previously to when they played against each other at Valisara. But so far from what, I've, oh. what we've seen, both the teams a little cautious. Yeah, if you see, if you analyze the game yesterday, the Reds, the Syrian FC, they became, they became winners. But if you see the number of penalties they took and the distance Five. that they took the penalty, they had a brilliant kicker, no doubt about Set. that. But Steady. they went for every three points. Steady. Now here, you got a three Backing. point on a cushion okay. and you off for a scrum. In number nine, go, don't go. Say. Whether it's a correct choice or not, we'll find out. No, no, it's okay. Army no, no, don't do that. Turned the ball over. Now the skipper, Maduranda, gives it to the set of forwards who are joining from the middle. Now the big man. Now this no, nice it's okay. No, 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 no. Almost a high shot, not quite. Back. Army being patient. No Last high shots so far. Something now, the ball. very pleasing to see yesterday. SW just spoken about the number of red cards, almost killed the game for back, back, red shirts, but they managed to come out on the top. And keenly watching this game, one of those teams will meet them this Sunday, number 28. Beautiful back. leg drive. No, no, don't do that. Stay back. Last foot. Heavy. Release! Doing simple stuff really well. Back, last put. The rock clearance. Ball presentation is up to the mark. High tackle. Now big number two. <laughs> Pull off the sun. Aiga goes. And we were, speaking, we, we were talking about high shots. The first high shot of the game. Right under the post. Will they go for three points? <laughs> Looks like they will. Did you hear me by any chance? They might have. 19. Low tackle, Chan. This will be surely bread and butter stuff for Samuel Modwanta from his cool days. Brilliant kicker. Either of them, Modwanta or Tilina. Straightforward, right under the post. Should be three points on the board for Navy. Taking early lead, just about 15 minutes up. Yes. <laughs> like I said, through the middle. I think it should be Tirina Vira Singha. Who sent through the penalty. Three points for Navy. He can literally do that with his eyes closed. Experience kicker. Yeah, Navy got the luxury of two uh, two good boots, uh, the Time distance on. and the shot. And Tillen has been ex exceptional. Madhuvanta was he started off brilliantly in his school career and came back and continued. But somewhere or other, he had dropped down a bit on his place kicking. But I'm sure the boy will come right, and hopefully it'll be today. Yes, this man. Had fair share of injuries, played for CH previous season. Back. Good, when very he got good. the ball, he got something special to offer. Nice side stepper. A big man. Back. Finding some ground for Navy. Got a man in the middle holding his head. Play Stay continues. Back. Maduranga being efficient. No, no, you nice lost the body. body way. You got release now. Could manage. To find an opportunity. I think Army letting loose Maduranga a little too much. He's a dangerous customer. Back. If you take him lightly, he'll punish you like he did against them no, okay. in the previous location. Hat trick of tries. Oh, 
Charit Silva. Leon. Now, Dinesh Silva. Some footwork. Back. To gain back. ground, but nicely turned over by Army. Two forwards initially thought of forming a combined drive. Did work. Now, Dikkubura. Reliable left boot. Some distance. Excellent collection and. Tackle release! Work. Gain back, around back, 15 meters. Okay, good. Once again, ball exchanging hands. Fluency is the key. Another excellent pass to Herath. He goes to the ground unpresented. Goes to the shorter side. Another deliberate knock on, it seems. Yes. Unacceptable. No, 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 no. Captain. Absolutely. Some brilliant faces Captain. coming from the Navy. Captain. And it came from the Army at the initial stage. But Navy is playing some constructive rugby. And they are going to the pods, making the ball available. Left and right, it's available. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Nice to watch them playing some good rugby. Absolutely. They settled down really nicely with three points on the board always matters psychological advantage now Samuel Madhuanta to gain some ground and work things from there excellent kick right inside army red zone army under pressure uh, the good Plenty of support for Army from the forces. Very decent crowd in. And this time, what do you want? Navy Stop. made a cardinal error. Line out wasn't straight. 19 minutes up. But could have been attacking opportunity. I mean, you can quite clearly see with that move. With Last couple of minutes, maybe been exerting relentless pressure, a little bit gassed out and under a little bit of pressure, but now they have got out. an opportunity to Bye. make things clear and get out of Set. their own half, Steady. number 22. Steady. Steady. Rifan, just about to feed in. Stay bound. Advantage. Yes, boring through, playing advantage. The passes from Army, touch too high, even in the last advantage game. Over. Sudaraga Dikkubura. Two kicks. <laughs> Just have a look how much ground he gained for Army. Brilliant, brilliant player. Speedster, who always sparks some brilliance whenever he gets a ball. Ref Abe Kohn having a small discussion with Captain. AR. Could be a high shot. Oh my, oh my. First card of the game. We thought we are in for right, one minute a very break. disciplined game. One minute water break. One minute. Yeah, don't go, don't go, stay here. Don't go, stay here. One minute, what break? Samuel Madhuanta, key man. Nah, shoulder charge, shoulder charge. Who does a lot of clearing, who does a lot of depending, dependable and reliable, but now he will have to spend 10 minutes in the bin. Marginal call, but nevertheless, ref. Is in a better position than us. I think it's a good, good position because he just took him off a bit so that he will not go ahead, uh, Madhu And um, interesting the, where the penalty is given. Uh, it should be up in front, I think, because where the ball light. Anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a water break. and um, Scorching hot day, humid. Not too much of breeze that like we used to have here at race course grounds. Two teams tiring up. Oh, 
like I mentioned in the beginning, this tournament considered the oldest club rugby tournament in the whole of Asia. Began 1911. It was presented uh, as a part of celebration for Lady uh, Elizabeth Clifford's uh, well, birthday well, by uh, then Governor uh, Sir Hugh Clifford. Uh, the, the very Stay. first match played between the United Services team and all okay. Ceylon team Leon. in 2011. That's how this tournament began. Now Navy. Powerful legs driving through, just about 15 meters gain. Intensity is up. The tempo is up. Navy, despite having a man sitting in the bin, doing everything right. Nice cut out pass. Well collected and well presented. This is good. This is excellent ball recycling. Army still holding on, but for how long? That's the question. Number six, Adisha presented the ball, went too far back. Leon! Now Herat changing directions, gained just about five meters in the process. Nice, simple basic rugby but proven effective throughout the league as well as in the knockouts get back get back Navy still doing all the talking army trying desperately no, it's okay. To stay it's disciplined and hanging on. Now the pick number one, Sharid Silva. Take a just about a couple of tacklers before he goes down. Use it. Another man driving through. One more pick and drive, taking the play to the next pace. Release now. On the defense, holding up. Not easy. Back. Waves after waves of attacks taking play from <laughs> touch forward. Yes, Rafi Shanka Abekon has the neck of being at the right time, at the right place. Spotted that one quite clearly. So it will be a scrum in favor of Army after some time. Yeah, I think it has been about 15 to 17 phases. That's fantastic. Rugby, ball retention, and the crucial, the important pass didn't come right. And if he has got it right, it would have been under the post. Maybe it would have been about seven points up uh, with that uh, try. But Army, Army is crucial. The thing is, both teams have crucially missed the uh, line-out throws in the advantage of getting a penalty and having your throw in. And that, that's going to be a bit more a bit right, concerns boys, to the coaches. Both teams have missed their line-outs. There's a comparison. Army, though they've been a little bit Five. better than the league stages. Navy Set. had the same Steady. issue. Being Steady. enterprising and adventurous most of the time, but they haven't had... Stay bound. Finishing touches. Stay bound. Stay in. Otherwise, they could Stay have done far better than they have did now in the league stage. Now, Army. Release. Bodies release piling up. Still have the presence of mind to clear the ball. <laughs> Looks like someone not rolling away and conceding a penalty. Much needed one for Army. You can see they are tied up by doing all the defending. Now they are getting a little bit of a breathing space. Sudara Gadikura, left footed, reliable kicker to do the clearing. Cardinal mistake, not finding the touch. Army in position. Release, clear release. Back, when back. it comes to speed, Army has the advantage. Now Dikkubura, nice ball presented, but. 
There was no man to catch that one. In fact, spill that one cheaply. So it will be a now scrum in favor of Navy. This is a bit of a helter-skelter stuff for both the teams. Not used, utilizing the opportunities given. We were expected, both the teams, to be a little bit fluent. I think the occasion took to them. Nerves, I guess, SW. Yeah, absolutely. The mistake that Army made was couldn't find touch, but that in, the, in, in turn it became uh, adventurous for them because Navy made a me out of it by a losing position and Army really uh, had, had, the, had the numbers on the outside, had the space uh, and, and the pace, both, on the outside, but they didn't have the fingers to collect that pass. Like I said, if both the teams prepared to up the tempo, it will definitely place in favor of Army. In addition to Sudaraka, they had quite a few speedsters, two wingers, got the pace. Light Rock Naika, number 21, at the two centers. Ashan Bandar, in particular, experienced man. In comparison to what he did in the league stage, he's a much improved player. Fly half, number 10. Uh, oh, he's, today he's playing at centre, Ashan Bandara. I think uh, we had a, a little discussion about him during our game at Air Force Grounds as well. Yeah, I know. It's, it's good, good to, the main thing is good to see the two sides playing some positive rugby. A lot of continuations, taking options, but they need to come, boil down and get their uh, restarters right. And look, in the last one, Army, you, you create uh, sp space and then you have the pace. Fine. And that's what we are all, they all try to do, to create Set. the space. And once you are created and put the defense on Set the back foot, and if you Set drop that crucial pass, Set I mean, that's, that's, there's no excuse for that. That's why Say about. We're continuously mentioning about Ding. the fact handling error count, staggering in local rugby. Something the coaches, the administrators should be keeping a keen eye on. Now, usual fluency from Navy, not that time. The pass was way too high. He tried his best, but wasn't successful. Prime real estate, SW. Yeah, I know. Sometimes, you know, when you're eager to get that thing across, sometimes the wind can take it also away from it. There can be a floating ball, which it is. And if you, I don't know whether you see the replay, if the ball who, boy who passed, the player who passed the ball, if he had his head up, and the ball is going to float up. It's, it's, it's like how you, I'm not a cricketer, but then, like the cricketer, then you ask to drive, and if you have your head up and drive, you, you're going to scoop a catch. Coach! Yes. Bye. There you go. The explanation. Even Set. against the Air Force, even Set. against uh, Havelocks, I thought Army, Set. quite a few passes were way too high. Same. Their back line Same. did their best, but by the time they caught the ball, it was all too late. Now Army. Nice long ball. Number 12. <laughs> With a punt. Smart call. Samuel Madhuanta is back. Back 10 meters. I beg your pardon. That's Tinila Veera Singha. Both of them brilliant with their defending. Now to take Navy back to the midway territory. As usual, thumping kick. Not too many meters, but Navy getting out of the jail nevertheless. Just about 28 minutes up. As expected, proven a close game. Will this be the tempo? This game to continue. We'll have to stay a little bit patient because initially we thought both the teams working the ball out wide, especially Navy. Their fluency is up. They had a considerably lengthier break to recharge their batteries. Release now, forwards release. joining in from the middle. Release, says the ref. Away, no hands. Prop forward. You're going off it. Well driven. Back. 
couldn't find a hole. Now to the shorter side. Number 10 with a nice distribution. He gets the ball in return, but good cover tackle from Navy. Army speeding things up. Forwards. Presenting quality balls. Good leg drive. Did they went over? Not quite. On the line, on the line. Back, back. Still, inches short, agonizingly close. Hands back, hands back. That should be it. Try time, Army. They were searching for that opportunity right from the beginning. They had to wait till the 29th minute, but nevertheless, Army goes in front. Five points to nil, five points to three, in fact. I don't think conversion should be any difficult. No wind, just about 18 meters out. What a comeback. Yeah, I know, just conversion to come, it's, I think it should be uh, bread and butter for him. But having said that, I was just about to come and say that the teams are playing so well and it do, it's not doing justice to the scoreboard. The, the, the scoreboard is really not reading the, what the game has been so far. And also, when I saw that one on two on the outside and he opt to go into the uh, defender, I was thinking to myself, is this the, the results of practicing history <laughs> practices? that goes through where the defender is there and he went straight into defender without giving two on the outside. They had a beautiful on one out, one in and then two passes out. Absolutely fantastic. But nevertheless, when the try has been scored, the conversion has been done and uh, Army in front. Probably a case of too much shadow rugby. We have seen this throughout the league stage as well as in the knockouts. Found space going straight <laughs> at the off. defender who needed no invitation 30 minutes up so it will be restart by Navy uh, absolutely good call on that and uh, Navy has the option of a kick where he was the player was offside or from where he kicked okay. right, vote out, vote it's out. a fine margin between being what out enthusiastic and being <laughs> reckless get back something we have seen from candy in fact okay. i've seen them me. made conscious efforts to not okay. to tackle the players when they are in the air so it's a matter of getting your thought process right Shoulder. and get your game plan accordingly from what we've seen so far in the first half in comparison to the league stage there is some fluency there is some improvement knowing this this is a knockout stage game there's no catching up there are no bonus points don't be culpable, don't be culpable. winner takes it all oh. 35 minutes up navy in position few anxious faces faces in fact Sali Kumara. Offside. One of the excellent refs, in the excellent coaches, I beg your pardon, in the scene. Have Congratulations to them, and it'd be nice uh, to see. From the bottom, seventh. So, vast improvement. They got all the reason to lit up their celebrations, and uh, how about winning Clifford Cup to double it up? Uh, uh, captain, captain, Absolutely, and paid the entire long place area with the <laughs> Nippon paint. Time on. Go on painting, use it. Number, number. Okay, uh, with a touch finder, a good one. Just about 30 meters out inside Army territory. Sole try being scored by Army. Expected a try feast. Can't help. 
having seen these two teams played in the league stage a trend just 10 tries to be exact but not today but we are expecting different things in the second half but however the throw wasn't straight from Navy hooker Pulasti Dizanayaka Yet another advantage countered by the team that was dictating the throwing after after a penalty uh, kick. Absolutely, this is this is this is a crime. You got to win your lineouts. You got to by now after 36 um, minutes of the clock, our clock, they should have studied the wind, which wind factor, one at the top, one at the middle, and one at the bottom, where it flows, because it, it, it travels at different, different spaces. If you see the Nippon paint, uh, those flags, the, the fluttering, it, it definitely is going uh, quite strong from our left to our right. So they should have studied that. To add to what you've said, there wasn't real pressure from army on that occasion. So those are little things they should be mindful of, I'm sure. During the break, there will be some stern, work, stern words will be spoken by both the coaches. Interesting, referee made a change in the ball. I wonder whether that's for the reason for the not in straight. It doesn't matter. Uh, they're virtually the same weight. And, uh, are they going to have a re-throwing? Wait, 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 wait. Wow, 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 wow. Interesting. We'll have to wait and see whether they can get their accuracy up by changing the ball. Looks all right. Advantage. It worked. Two bites of the cherry, two bites of the ball. <laughs> and something we've seen, uh, the vigors changing directions towards oh, no, no. inward way too much in this league basically goes to the hand of defenders providing them an easy opportunity to tackle them now the big man strong drive once again Maduranga handling error scraping in but before that there was an advantage for army players got caught offside <laughs> ref abekon being vigilant stand down right inside on the red zone prime real estate for navy both the teams Higher degree of stamina. Hurry up, nine. Nine in Delay can only find Couch. Refer Bacon being vocal, providing plenty of instructions Set. in order to get Steady. a steady scrum. Steady. Army up by seven points. Steady. Not a big lead. Just about Save three out. minutes left on the clock. Now. Nice scissor move. Tackle. Now to the far side. Goes number two. Pulasti. Dasanayaka. No, it's okay. Maduranga. To Gihan Pereira. Good leg drive. Now Dinesh De Silva loses the ball. Spill that one cheaply now. Army in position. Chance gone begging once more. Good long pass, finds Samuel Maduanta, always no, no. got something to offer to gain few meters. Uh, goes through the middle. They've been silky with their forward play. They've been presenting the backs with quality balls. Now gets an opportunity, well tackled. Back, back, backwards. 
That one been backward. Side. Coming Number through 30. the side. <laughs> Says the ref Ishan Kabekon once again. Army. One and a half more. One and a half more, no. Gassed out after doing defending from this way to the other. Gets a retrieve. Like I mentioned early at the break, there will be some serious discussions inside both the camps, especially Navy. I think they had just about 60% of position. Still only got three points to show for it. Army, on the other hand, with 40% position, did well. Time on. But for the large part, they were under pressure. Army would have expected to create plenty of try scoring opportunities instead of doing all the defending. Now, Ashan Bandara. Last play, Maja. Last play, ne? Last play. Clears the ball out. It'll be a throw Last in play. favor of Army. La Last play. Can they get their. Accuracy up. Stolen by Navy. The Navy wasn't too good with their own lineouts. When it comes to stealing Army's lineout, they've been doing pretty well. And Maduranga breaks through one tackler, gains some ground before goes to the ground. Herat with a distribution to Maduanta. Exchanging quite a few hands, which is good. Now to the shorter side. Machine Falil gives out a quality ball. Play on. <laughs> Excellent counter rocking pressure. Earning the penalty for sealing. Ashan Bandara under a little bit of distress. Now taking a quick tap. And kick it into touch. As to say, this is enough for the first half. Tied up. Looks like he's in serious trouble. Well, it's half time. It's 40 minutes of fantastic. Some good rugby, I would say. All the scoreboard do not indicate what should have been. Because it's, it's the fact that they couldn't finish it. But we had 13 faces, 17 faces of rugby and Navy had the position more most of the time as you see the highlights that's the first three points to Navy uh, getting the scoreboard on and then Army with their forwards pick and go pick and go picking up and then finally over the line for the five points and the conversion is good so that was at that time at the stage it was seven points to three with the Army in front so at the end of the first half, Army holding on to a slender lead of four points. But knowing what both these teams are capable of, we are expecting some fireworks in the second half. We'll catch you with live action in a moment.
win the game. We'll take care of your aches and pains. Sidali Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Wasare kase te ka viswasen, then odorless takshane. Nippon, odorless paints. Tatve nusas honda materima. Nippon paints live with colors. Nippon paints live with colors. Take care of your aches and pains. Sidali Bus Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. <laughs> Wasare kase te ka viswas Tatve nusas honda materima Nippon paints live with colors Nippon paints live with colors Take care of your aches and pains. Sidali Bus Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. Nippon Paints live with colors.
again. We'll take care of your aches and pains. Sedale Per Spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. Welcome back with a live action. Captain. We're just about to start things off for the second Nine half. Seven points to three in favor of Army. Army managing to score the sole try of the game. The team had a lesser percentage of possession, went on to score the only try. Must be a cause of concern. For Navy, they've been swift in their ball handling. They played out quite a few paces, but just haven't ready, got Captain. enough points to show for it. This is Clifford Cup semi-final number two. Sierra and FC ready. waiting in the wings to meet okay. either Army or Navy. Who will it be? All to play for. Still anybody's game. Ashan Bandara to Kicks things start in the second half. Chose to go midway. Adisha Viratunga met with heavy tackling. Army in, in, earlier on in, in. showing their intent. Clearance kick is good. Taking play back just about 40 meters outside. Off. One thing's for sure, everybody must be praying and hoping for the cooler weather right now because it's so warm, so humid. I don't know how the players are going to take it because it's very, very warm, it's hot. And I hopefully you can hear the papare bands uh, in the background, hopefully you can hear them. And I, that will cheer them up uh, to some yes, extent. Yes, the reason why organizers gave a 20 minute water break. Now number 20, stocky man, goes to the ground, plays the ball, now a big set of forwards for Army, getting their work rate up, here's the speedster, getting too far closer, in fact the ball went into touch, but before that, at the, time, at the moment, it's, if you see the replay, See the hands going in, brilliantly going in for the gap, not making it available, losing position uh, on the count of keeping position, recycling. I think Navy got the better of the army on that count because certainly they keep more pots. Their um, ball carrying uh, ability and retaining is much more better than army right at the moment. And army are just going wide and they're losing position. Quite clearly, in comparison, Navy were the time. Navy were the team with a little bit of patience. They've taken play just about 16 to 15 paces throughout the first half. So Navy coach as well as the team management expecting nothing less. It's just about the finishing touches for Navy. They had the same problem throughout the league. Lost quite a few close games. In fact, Navy were the side ran candy closest. Coach! Of course, ended up Five. in the Six. fourth position. 
at the completion of Sadi. first leg. But here, knockout Sadi. matters, knockout tournaments, different kettle of fish all together. Now Navy to the back line. Nice swift hands. Play on. Samuel Madhuanta, good leg drive, nice presentation, Maduranga, efficient with his distributions, once again, Back. Army, no, no, no. made to do the same all defending, do that. big tackles coming up, but the ball is clear, Madhuanta, just haven't had enough room outside, so they will have to once again switch directions and handling errors comes back to haunt them. Go back to penalty. Without the ball tackle. Ref was playing advantage for <laughs> maybe. So they once again. I think that's a case for not using hands from army defenders. Nevertheless, Navy was once again getting an opportunity. Samuel Madhuanta to find range with his touch finder. Absolutely classic case of bringing play back on advantage. He played as much as possible. And prior to the game, I was told that he was a trigger happy, trigger happy referee. And he uses the whistle too much. A fantastic bringing back play. He has, he has had a, so far had a, had a very good game so far. Yes, in fact, he quite a few occasions let the play goes on when the ball was went loose one of the best in the business referee Shankar Bacon ably assisted by Agihan Yatavara superb collection Adisha Viratunga specialized specialized jumper big men Pulasti gets the ball now, Mushin Falil gives it out to his Play fellow backline player. Back, back. All game right throughout. You have seen the efficiency from the skipper. Ref was on their way now. Herat. Back. Just about broke through. Taken about a couple of tacklers. Good leg drive, once more, switching directions, army, for how Follow long me. they can hold this on. Nice side stepping, gain around a couple of meters, now to the broader side, numbers available, numbers available for army as well, They're ready to defend goes through the side what could have been a great opportunity as you can see army players got their hands on their hips tired out gassed out ideal opportunity there you go goes through the side what's your call coming from side Absolutely fantastic play by Navy. I was just about to say that they're keeping hand, ball in hand, and they're going into pause and doing it well till that they made a mistake. Thank God I didn't make a comment. They would have said the commentator's curse. Navy almost made that possible, not quite. Once again, now Army. They've been doing far too much defending in this semi final number two. Contrast to the game they had against Havelocks last week, 39 points to 17 victors. A confidence booster for Army. Time on. Okay, Navy got the better of the. They broke the hoodoo of yeah, winning their line out of a penalty. Now it's let's see what Army will do. Whether they will break their hoodoo too by winning their ball in off of a penalty kick. We'll wait and see. Throw was good for a change. Now, speedy backs comes to play. 
Nicely given ball. Was it touch forward? Looks like it. Excellent call. I think AR must have assisted Ishanka to spot that one. 47 minutes gone. It's not materializing the high scoring game. Looks like someone at the end just about to get their noses in front. That's the finish in store by the looks Out. of it. Yeah, it all depends on who's in front to break the tip. That matters. And what the score is at the Set. time. The final whistle, the final, the final step to the tip, that matters. And I think that fourth pass was a good call, and I think the referee has been combined very well with the two AR assistants, doing a tremendous support as we see the high ball picked up by Army. Was it intentional? I think I'm seeing a card coming up. I'd be rather surprised if Ref Abe Kohn not goes to his pocket. That was far too dangerous. Mushin Falil trying to make trying to make it look unintentional. Interesting to see what the card comes out whether it's going to be a stop or it's going to be amber or, comp or, or, or none and say okay you're good to go. Unless of course the assistant ref said something different. Number captain, number 12. Calling for a player, number 12. Mushin Falil's heart must be pumping. Can't help. Yellow is the color. 10 minutes in the bin. It happened to them in the first half. Hinders their chances of progressing. Will it be the case? In the second half, we'll have to wait and see Army with a great opportunity. Very interesting to see the see the captain pleading with him, sir, don't go into the pocket, please don't go into the pocket. And when he got the yellow, he's still pleading and saying that you should not go for the card. And I think he's, he's, he's lucky enough to be on the field to continue the rest of the game. That's what I mentioned. Teams must make a contrast effort when it comes to tackling the players in the air especially when they are got on the higher ball some teams I'm not gonna mention the names who are successful throughout the league pace made it nice dummy puts in number 22 Mohammed no, no. hustling and bustling before goes to the ground and earning a penalty off Feet says Ref Abekon. Number seven. Staying on his feet. You can see the replay. He comes a step, one, two again, another step. They're not going to run through the forwards for long, but that's for sure. And he comes, he rolls over. Fantastic call. And interestingly, I think he's going for three points. I think our predictions are out of the windows. It's just a matter of moving into the finals. Right intentions. Still quite a few minutes remaining on our clock. Still early stages. But we are hoping for both the teams to open it up. To ran for it to go for it just about 42 meters out so distance is good was Went up, underneath uh, the, so the direction was good <laughs> direction didn't yes. have the distance didn't have the power and the flag stayed down time off 50 minutes up we are still looking seven at change. a score line 7 points to 3 in favor of White army number seven. I'm sure the fans Why as well as the viewers expected something more from both these teams, but their strategy is today 
is to stay remaining in front. Fair call. It is not easy reaching knockout finals. Now the speedster Sudaraka. Beautiful pass, well collected. But before that, he touches the line, which means it will be another line out in favor of Navy. With Army, we haven't seen the continuity we used to see from the Navy lads. If they can get that part covered up, I think with their speed and with their stamina, they are still in with a chance of scoring few get back, tries. Get back, get back. Okay, good, good, good. That was a fantastic option. Very nice cutout pass. Unfortunately, the line out tackled the army winger. Ne uh, Almost always, whenever Sudara Kadikumura gets a ball, okay, play on. he do something special. Play on says ref and the army in position. Opportunistic. Now looking for the wider channels. Collected the ball on the bounce. Somewhat slowed them down, but Back. nippy customer. A big number six. Found no room whatsoever, but holding it on for way too long. This is not good. Elementary mistakes creeping in for Army. Some discomfort for a player who's on the ground. Magic spray come into play. Not finding touch for the first time in the game. Sudaraka, step off one, step off two. Met with a good tackle, but still continuing. But in the process, he spilled the ball. So it'll be a scrum in favor of Navy. Just about 30 meters inside Army territory once again. Well, crucial mistake by Army. Uh, the player running right across the field, away from the support. Uh, they, she should have gone closer to the touchline. And in, in a crisis, he should have either chip or put the ball up in the air. But instead of that, he got isolated and uh, they're punished with a lucid uh, scum to the Navy. Uh, otherwise, they would have had more, more, more of the uh, point scoring opportunities for the Navy. They got away with it. The Sudaraka had a couple of players moving towards that direction. Sudaraka changes his direction and Coach. goes the other way. Eventually, found no option. Fine. Gave out uh, quite a fast ball now throughout the game. This man, the skipper, doing a fantastic job with this distribution once again. Nice inside ball, trying to find a hole in army defense. Balki forward, moves forward, Pulosti. Taken about couple of tacklers and goes to the ground. Once again, Navy enters prime real estate right at the center inside Army Red Zone. Powerful legs driving through Army. Now, looking for the wider channels. Not clear release. Army line once again got caught offside and Ref Abekon Presenting another penalty. Looks like they are opting for three, three points, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. They are putting pressure on the um, Army uh, scoreboard. It's, uh, it's going to be, if it's successful, it's going to be a point difference. And uh, not to forget, Navy are playing with 14. The numbers are not equal on the field. And they would prefer to be one point behind with one player uh, in the naughty chair. Whichever way we, we look at it, looks like this game will go down to the wire. That's good to see. Ideally, with quite a few scoring opportunities. Madhuanta 
No problems. Gets it through the middle. Like I said, one point is way better than four points. Still, Nawami. Just about half of their nose in front. They should be looking for the next opportunity of getting some points on the boards. For far too long. In the first half, I think it's about 60% to 40% in favor of Navy. But by the looks of it, that percentage has gone up. Navy maintaining just about 70% of position. Now Army, high restart. Viratunga presented a quality ball, well tackled. Still moving forward, changing directions. Dinesh De Silva, Maduranga opting to go for a wider channels. Virina Virasinga, as usual. Taken about a couple of tacklers, big man, experienced man. Now to the far side once again, big forward colliding with his opposition number. Another quality inside ball. Virina Virasinha clears the ball, presented well. A big prop forward. Goes to the ground. This is excellent continuation. Switching direction to the far side as well as near side. Army had no option but to do all the defending. Met with a good tackle but had the presence of mind. Trying out for a drop goal. Didn't work. Well covered up. And in the process, presented a penalty. Much needed one for Army. Army saved by the bill. Yeah, the top goal attempt there, and then it was charged down, and luckily it went to the army player who was in front of the kicker. Luckily it went to the army player who was in front of the kicker. Since it was charged down, that constitutes to have played the ball. If you see the replay, there is a pass, there is a drop off the player, and then he plays on. You need a trained set of eyes to spot that one. And who's better than SW? I'm sure there'll be a debatable question on that point. Whether anybody who's within the 10 meter radius uh, or the 10 meter line, whether the opponent's action put them on side or not. So uh, the ex experts on the laws of the game will have to uh, Tell us about it. Well, rugby, complex set of rules. Unless of you, unless of course you, not thorough with the principles, the standards. Sometimes it is difficult to comprehend the dignitaries keenly watching the semi-finals to find out who reaches the final and who gets a chance to wrap their hands around that beautiful Clifford Cup and become the champions. We were talking a little bit about the history of Clifford Cup. As I mentioned earlier, wars began in 1911, exactly 112 years back. First of all, United Services team and all Ceylon team played till 1926 where it became a quadrangular until 1950 which was the time for the first time the club rugby league was formed so this cup was awarded to the club rugby champions and afterward until about 1985 this is the cup which was presented to the champions of league and 1985 Sri Lanka Rugby Football Union deciding to offer a different cup for a league champions and this became the trophy that will be given to the premier knockout champions. We've had 79 editions. This is the 80th 
Candy SC with 21 titles dominating Sierra and FC and Havelocks closely following with 14 titles. Havelocks not going to be there, but Sierra and FC, they are still in with the chance of recording their 15th title win in the knockout segment Clifford Cup in their centenary year. Nice present to the supporters, to the fans, to the faithfuls at London Place Club. And one of the teams that are battling now here right in front of you in your screen and at the race course for the Nippon uh, Clifford Cup 2023. I'm sure that whoever comes there must be having other ideas to spoil that celebration. And nevertheless, let's hope rugby wins. From the fans' perspective, from the neutrals' perspective, that's exactly what we are expecting. Nicely tackled, bring down the player. Got no momentum. Ref walking back right where it all began. It's a penalty. Interesting, he bought a penalty back for hands in the ruck. And uh, it was against the uh, against army on hands on the ruck. I wonder why he played advantage if his hands on the ruck for Army because Army had position. Yes, you got a call. Only a trained eye can spot that one. Now Adishaviratunga ascending, met with a couple of heavy tackles. He goes to the ground as usual, presented a quality ball. Now, lock forward, Dananjay Seneviratna moves ahead. Take a tackle after tackle before goes to the ground. Yes, penalty comes for a change. Now it will be Army. He, hold, he was holding on for a ball. Eight. I don't think they have a quality enough kicker to take that one. Let's have another look. Just goes to the ground. Yes. He was off feet. Had no right to contest ball on the ground. SW just about 60 minutes gone. 20 minutes remaining. Who will it be? Will it be Army, resurgent Army, walking into the finals, or Navy, who done so well, yet didn't manage the finishing touches? Will it be the case for them today as well? well that's a very easy question. I'll let you know in 20 minutes who is going to be that. But nevertheless, 20 minutes is going to be some intense rugby. I can tell you whoever is behind will try to do some catch up and get the scores moving. As we see, Army uh, is, is on a 50.5 meter uh, kick at goal and with the wind. If this one goes in, it will be the kick of the season for Army for sure. Struck well. It's over. How about that kick of the season to take them in front? Army, 10 points to 6. What a game we are having. Though it wasn't what we were expected. Beautifully struck. Just had the legs right through the middle, just over the crossbar. Now Navy with a deep restart. This man is very dangerous when space provided. Nice quality ball. Decided to kick it to find range. Nobody sweeping. Dines de Silva has to back paddle and clears the ball. That was a nice passage of play from Army. Fantastic. He runs right across, right across like a cheetah, dazzling across to catch his spray. 
and then links up with his support and the support decides to put the ball up into no man's space and Navy desperately looking for uh, a timeout kicks the ball out into touch and Army in the territory with a three point lead uh, over, the, over Navy will go in for the line out 62 and a half minutes gone on our clock anything everything to play for these are the times both the teams should be holding on to their nerves army driving forward well formed mole now for a change they are in position used one says riff a bacon army still clinging into the tail of that mole keeping the ball in position one man came through Looks like it's been held. Absolutely. I just want to quote the law here. Uh, in a mall, and if you're binding into the mall, you got to bind with your player behind the hindmost foot. I just leave it at that. Still, Army, last couple of passages of play fruitful for them. There you go, man coming. You see, coming from the right direction. We'll leave that one for you, set, set, set. the viewers. 64 minutes up, fast reaching the dying minutes. Coach. Still, Army holding Five. on to a slender lead of set. four points. Set it. Set it. Maduranga. Been efficient right throughout the game, switching Stay directions, out. doing all the distribution. Excellent work rate from the skipper now, Dinesh De Silva to Moshin Falil. Backward. No, 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 no. Looks like Navy made no, no, a no, few no, no. substitutions. Now, Number ball. 23, he's in. Bhatia Samaravira. Navy at that time, they are able to move the ball around in the danger zone and with slow motion passes, nearly got caught but then managed to keep position and, and what they should have done at the initial stages, they did it then after taking a huge risk factor uh, against Army. Nevertheless, they must be wanting to run Army up and down the pitch and then get the boot into, into a long distance. SSW mentioned quite clearly too much of risk attached but that sometimes you get rewarded for taking risk but that wasn't the case for Navy on that occasion 65 minutes out army with a throw in yes penalty advantage coming army's way ball on distribution chip kick finds a man which means ref will be avoiding the penalty advantage for Army just about 30 32 meters out with the angle will they go for a kick or will they opt to go into touch and work things from there there you go they must have heard what you have said points matters yeah I know points matters but to me at that at that point I, I would go for the I would go for the corner in, into the line out because the fact that if, if, if their kick is on a long distance only they're perfectly sure that they can make the three points and if there's a counter attack it is going to be the question because it's a diagonal right across the f uh, post on top of that this is a steep angle distance shouldn't be a problem for this man just a moment ago we saw him nicely struck one just about 52 meters out adding some reliability to army pace kicking realizing the importance of having points in the board this is to go clear by seven points it's in once again reliable boot comes to the rescue 
Absolutely. Somebody send me a message. Shut up and let them take the kick. Absolutely fantastic. Dishan. Three points. They go further and further and building on their step by step uh, to come and meet the giants of rugby, uh, CRNFC, on, 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 on Sunday. Now all of a sudden, Navy needing converter try to equal things up. That's a tricky proposition. It's a different matter altogether being fluent in a game of rugby. In a knockout game, gets the points on the board. Army sticking to the try and tested old formula. This is to clear things up. Ashan Bandara gets it down closer to 40 meter. Now all of a sudden, Navy. Beautiful line break from Tilnavira Singer looking for support. The support wasn't close enough, so he had no option but to go to the ground and clears the ball, which he done perfectly. Amaduranga changes directions. Man on the ground for Army. Dinesh De Silva had a good game. Now Falil tries to break through something he enjoys doing. Was it a high shot? I think the referee called for an infringement in the tackle situation. I was not sure about the, what the signaling was, but Yellow nevertheless, it's out. about seven meters away from the goal line. And uh, if Navy still has an opportunity of that's equaling the scores with one, one score, as a, as a goal, will make them even Steven and will oh, no. also send us into extra time and overtime yes knockout extra time in prospect everything still to play for army holding on to a seven point lead navy enters the red zone prime real estate pulasti with a throw in collection was good but collection follow-up wasn't good so the opportunity ruined. Maybe just about 10 minutes remaining. Just need to get their fluency up. Navy players were calling for a knock on by the army. Uh, talking to the AR. We can see the replay. Be interesting to see. And the, and the call is 10 minutes more. Cool it down. We can score about. Four. Five to six tries within the ten meters, ten minutes. With this sort of a tempo, I rather doubt it. Just ten minutes right throughout the game, just two tries. Let's have a look. Collection from yes, the call was right in fact. Instinctively, ref got to go with what he sees. He's obviously in a better position than us. Far better position than us, of course. Little bit of a hold up. You can, of course, join this telecast with Sri Lanka Rugby Tuskers official YouTube channel, Sri Lanka Rugby Tuskers official web page, Sports at YouTube and FP pages, Sports Now YouTube and FP pages, plus www.adsar.lk slash live. Unbroken stream of exciting rugby. This is the second final, and on the fifth, it will be the grand final. It will be the conclusion of the season for club rugby. Now, ref just about start the proceedings less than 10 minutes remaining Coach. this is a close finish for sure Bye. we expected for a high scoring game it's, it wasn't to be but definitely a close finish is in store
Let's no, 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 no. to hold that steady. I can see a player <laughs> touch up. Yes. Ref lets it continue and spotted Nawami. Grand chance to get out of the jail and increase their chance of putting to the final. I think what happened was the initial binding was not right, not and if right. they check the binding, we should have. It's very important prior to the engagement. Yeah. You have to have the inner shoulder out yeah. or in parallel, and get the shoulder and the inner shoulder right because we are having this problem uh, with with both teams of equal weight, and then we should not be having. If you see on the international arena, mm. the both teams, both packs yes. have the same weight, but, uh, and then they have no problems of this coming. Flight yeah. number six. Absolutely, that six. one should have been corrected right before the scrum was taken, but nevertheless now. Army with advantage. Nicely. Really, really lucky. I'm glad I was wrong. It's a knock-on advantage in favor of Army. I thought the charge was against Ashen Bandar was touch little, touch too late, but refs and ARs not looking at it the same way. 72 minutes up, maybe down by seven points. Converted try, badly needed. Army on the other hand, much improved side. Completely different side from what we've seen in the league stage. They must have had a serious talking. They must have identified their mistakes. Far better side, far better outing against the same team. They've lost by 41 points to 30. 13th gen. Space available. Speedster cut back inside. Beautifully tackled. For jumping, a penalty. Navy escapes. Jumping, jumping a tackle, 1960 Jump. rugby. <laughs> oh, just, just a joke. I mean, absolutely fantastic. It's dangerous for himself actually jumping that tackle because that can bring a lot of injuries to him. And uh, quite rightly, uh, referee makes that call. I think if I'm not mistaken, yesterday the tackler was penalized. For a similar incident so let's focus on what's on our hand yes was he jumping or was he gone on top with the momentum very tough very tough to spot to be honest i'm sure the athletics coach might have his name in his book for a for to come and do the high jump or maybe the hurdles there you go, Captain. spotting the talent. He gained uh, at least three meters, if not two. Pulasti Dasanayaka with the ball in hand, five man line out, five man committed. Throwing was good, so is Arisha Virutunga, specialized line out jumper. Did his job. Army does well, but now switching directions and moving forward. Navy Mall, the Sailors. Just about five minutes on the clock, trailing by seven points. Play on, says Rev, and stolen by Army. Immediately wasn't on his feet I think the work rate from Navy forwards exceptional uh, right throughout the game. Clear case of not supporting body weight. 
elementary estates coming back to haunt you army all of a sudden found themselves right inside the red zone this could be navy's final opportunity it's now or never for navy yeah, absolutely not now or never for navy and as we see on my the army on my left and navy on my right on, on our right and left you can see the two poppers have got oh. activated as you see the last few minutes yeah, sniffing that goal line navy on the run they need the seven points to be first to make it equal once well formed well structured ball no, they are no, breaking no away from it still the ball is clear army conscious of the fact that they Back. couldn't commit any mistakes at this dying seconds of the game in fact just under three minutes remaining maybe get back get back get back, get back. meter get back. by meter Outside. moving forward another leg drive another pick and drive this time from Adisha Viratunga all of a sudden I'm starting to wonder how the ball came out yes card coming up we were demo we are trying to explain the importance of maintaining disciplines by the army right at the neck of the moment maybe earning a penalty and army down to 14 players they will have to content just about three minutes Ashan Bandara who's on ground a little bit of discomfort ice and magic spray being applied on his knee number five in fact I thought it was Ashan Bandara pretty similar in the appearance number five now Navy getting another penalty quick tap taken this man scored yes scored three tries against army in the first round with a conversion to come it's all evened up ah looks like we are in for extra time we'll have to wait and see quick tap taken had the presence of mind to go through two big defenders slender man wins the battle as a skipper it is a navy skipper number nine yes taking the quick one harsha maduranga taking the quick one and he says it's mine and then gets a five pointer and now i'm sure everything will come out to see the two points coming in and uh, to make it even steven but army are one short of a player even to go into the extra time so that will be their concern this shouldn't be difficult I think we are in for overtime get it through even Steven 79 minutes last gone play. last play just about at the beginning of the second half we started talking about a Last draw day. now all evened up over time in prospect just about minute remaining a crucial kick taken by a new kicker it was not Tilana it was not Madhumanta it was he held his nerve got it through the post as we see Navy trying to get in front to be to beat the clock and beat the tip being a left footed kicker I think the skipper preferred him left footed kickers preferred angle a warming in position this man run across running backwards in order to find room still goes now straighten no, no. his line no 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 you roll away first roll away Back. on the rock to clear the ball couple of forwards goes through Navy defense almost got caught napping cover defense came to the rescue 
Now the big number five. No, no, you got the ball. You off it. Presented off it. A quality ball. Off it. Navy keen on maintaining their discipline. Play on, says ref. Once. Now release, release. And it's been stolen. Well done. A penalty in favor of Navy. They're contemplating to go for the three points or not. But in my books, once again, it's, it's touch. Because the danger of it is the counter-attack. Or will Army keep it to safety? Go in, play safe, get to touch. Or it'll be a counter-attack. It's 80 minutes on our clock, but I'm sure there are a few minutes that the referee will have. Um, At least a couple of minutes, if not seconds. Side, side, side. This man Sir. in his prime had the range, but like you said, wisely. Found the touch, just about managing it. Absolutely, signed to prevail by uh, getting the uh, into touch. Tired legs, tired bodies, muscles, and tired thinking. And they, as they said, you get tired twice as quicker when doing all the defending rather than attacking, which is the case with Army right yeah, throughout the, the game. Don't close the gap. Navy maintained larger percentage of position managing a solitary try right at the dying seconds all evened up and the throw was good Adisha Viratunga as efficient as ever but time over just couldn't manage to hold on that's the full time it's all evened up only difference army will have to contain with couple of more minutes with just 14 players so going into extra time Navy the happier side quite clearly coach uh, Ronnie Ibrahim and Sali Kumara from the Navy and Ibrahim of the Army they got to start rethinking of the uh, strategy now because I think it's sudden death the side that scores first win that wins the match so it's going to be a sudden death so it's going to be crucial for both teams of this semi-final of the Nippon Clifford Cup interestingly they all even Steven all evened up exciting ex <laughs>
from all aches and pains. Wasare kasiya theka viswasen, then odorless takshanen. Nippon odorless paints. Tatve no sas honda matere ma. Nippon paints live with colors. Nippon paints live with colors. Take care of your aches and pains. Sedale per spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. We are back, all evened up. Thirteen points each. Still. Hello, Captain. Ready. Not been able to find who will play Sia. <laughs> now till Navira Singha. Noticeable focus. With his way start, he gained a lot of height usually. Dikkumbura no, no, with a left footed clearance kick. Not gone too much distance. Now the try scorer. Plenty of energy. The collection wasn't all that clean, but he had the presence of mind to regather that one and clears the ball now. Maduranga. Instead of Maduranga, Dinesh De Silva does the distribution. Barge through the middle. Newfound energy for Navy. Trying out a drop kick. It's true! <laughs> Once again, Tilina Veera Singh, the man. We thought we had the thriller at Valisara. This man does the final act. This man got the final three point. And today, there was no difference. How about that for a drop kick? Under pressure, experienced man does it for Navy. Outstanding. Oh, that's a sneaker local Johnny Wilkinson as he had the drop kick in the cup final of the World Cup. Here he is. He had the long distance kick to bring him them to the first top four. As you see the replay, calm as a cucumber, cool as a cucumber. You may call it anything you want it, but calm and the ball slots in. Hero of the day and also cut out all the uh, extra time that we had to pay. So that, uh, uh, that time has been cut off of the kickoff. Uh, an army made a mistake of not finding touch and then you give the ball to a man with a golden boot and he does the rest experience counts and once again it was proven Tirina Virasingha the hero he was the hero when Navy needed that all important win against Air Force to walk into the cup round which they did thanks to this, this man with a beautiful conversion 47 meters out with a slight angle and Navy all smiling all happy they had to fight hard they did everything they could and kudos to army defense just managing to hold on they are disciplined was far better than what we have seen 
in the first round but still just short like you said wrong option not kicking the ball out into touch provided the opportunity to experience man till Navira Singer 13 points to 16 maybe the finalist yeah actually I saw while while the thing was on and they were discussing about the toss for the extra time I saw Nippon paint advertisement they were painting a car red I thought to myself okay red is already in the finals what's the next color it's going to be blue and white so it's going to be a hurricane battle on the 5th of uh, March uh, everybody who's there don't just sit, come and watch a, um, a, a, a fantastic game of rugby. I'm sure it will be as you see the highlights. Those are the exciting highlights though there weren't too many tries. Still keenly forwarded close encounter. Just what the doctor orders when it comes to Clifford Cup semi-finals. In the singer with a conversion, reliable boot as ever. And how about that for a penalty kick? 50 plus meters right through the middle. And this penalty took Army in front by seven points. But this man had the presence of mind. Slender man goes through the middle of two heavy forwards. Left footed kicker, kicker gets that one right. It was all evened up and this man, the hero, get that one through the middle, Navy through to the finals. It will be a cracker jack of a final here at Air Force Ground on the Sunday afternoon. Book your tickets, book your time. This is the key stats, 13 points to 16 in favor of Navy. It ended, try each, conversion each. Two penalties each, and the only difference brilliant drop goal from Kelina Virasingha, hero of the day once again. Absolutely fantastic. What a, what a semi final. Good, good uh, rugby. We had two good semi finals. Hopefully, get everybody down here to race course to watch the finals. Nippon Paint, there you are. Sia versus Navy, live from. Race Coast Rugby Stadium, Sri Lanka Rugby, Nippon Paint Clifford Cup Knockout 2023. This will be a crackerjack of a game. We are inviting those who are close by to join us on Sunday. Expecting exciting rugby in the finals. Yes, like I just mentioned, Sunday it will be a crackerjack of a game. We are inviting all the viewers to be present at the ground at race course. And until then, thanking all the viewers for joining us. It's goodbye from race course.
Nippon Paints. Live with colors. care of your aches and pains. Sedale per spray. Trusted for eight decades for quick relief from all aches and pains. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. <laughs> Then orderless taxion in Nippon orderless paints. Tatve nosas Honda Materima Nippon paints live with colors. <laughs> 